Danny Segura here for MMA Junkie in Miami, Florida, standing next to former UFC champion Junior Dos Santos, who makes his long-awaited debut at Eagle FC 47 this Friday here in Miami. Uh, Junior, first of all, first training camp in, in a couple of years. Last time you fought was uh, December of 2020. Uh, how are you feeling? Tell us. Uh, first training camp in a while. How are things going, and how's the body feeling? Feeling great, actually. You know, I was... I was uh always active you know after I decided you know now I, I want to keep going I want to keep fighting I was right back at the gym and I uh, training every day I was doing actually my my training is was completely different this time you know I was actually at the beginning I was doing only boxing training so I was waking up at 5 a.m. in the morning my first training was 7 a.m. in the morning so it was something that I ne never did before you know and of course, we did some adapt adaptations after I got this MMA fight again. And uh, but I'm feeling great. You know, I was running a lot, working a lot on my cardio, and uh, and maybe you know, and with all the experience that you know I was going through, I man, I'm in a position that I'm really enjoying to to be right now. Yeah. I was going to ask you, did you miss, I know you're always active, but like having already a, a date and an opponent, did you miss sort of having that, that goal in mind when you're training? Oh, yeah, for, of course. Uh, uh, yeah, it's hard to, to be twice a day, every day in the gym, you know, when you don't have a goal. It's, uh, even when you love it, you know, like I do, you know, I love who I am. I love to, uh, to be a fighter. But uh, as, the times go, as the time goes by, you know, it, it kind of um, missed the intention, you know. So you have to have a goal. And now I had this, this goal right in front of me. I like I was supposed to fight with Thriller, but it was postponed the fight, postponed the fighting, never a real date for the fight. So I said, yeah, we have this fight now. Let's fight this one because this one's going to be 100% sure that's going to happen. And uh, talk to us about uh, Jorgan De Castro, the, your opponent, who you will be headlining in UFC 47 uh, against. Uh, what have you made of him? Obviously, he fought in the UFC before. Tell us uh, what do you make of his skill set, and uh, overall, what do you think of him as an opponent? Yeah, as uh, all the, the the fighters that they make to the big shows, the big UFC, Eagle. Uh, Ego FC and all the this big shows, you know, he's a dangerous guy. He throws a lot of bombs, you know, hard hands all the time, hard kicks as well. His last fight, he, sub he submitted the guy with a guillotine, you know, and it, I was kind of impressed. So fights fight, you know, you never know. There's a lot of people out there, you know, full of opinions, full of uh, 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 things to say about this or about that. But uh, the truth is, once, once uh, you're in there, you're by yourself. And they lock you in there with your opponent, and you have to give 100% of you to get the, the positive result. And that's why I'm here. I'm here to get there and get the win. Now, I saw, I think it was on your Instagram, or it might have been both, Ego FC's Instagram and yours, but I saw you putting on the Ego FC white gloves and all that. Uh, first time in a while, right, since they don't say UFC. So how did it feel, you know, being in a different promotion? Does it feel a little bit weird being, you know, somewhere else, not named the UFC, or is it the same thing? No, actually, it's, it's great. I'm feeling great, and like I said, uh, in a, I'm, I'm living kind of a... A different moment in my career, a different moment in my life, but a special moment. You know, it's good to be out here and see all everything what's going on in this uh, uh, out of the UFC. You know, which which is the big biggest promotion. But uh, because when you're de in there, you you kind of you know don't really know what's going on outside. You know, and to have people people like uh, Khabib, you know, doing um, putting a lot of work to do a show like this one, you know, and bring some great names, you know, for the fights and uh, providing all the, the fans and MMA fans uh, great fights, it's a, it's a privilege for me to be part of it. And uh, I, I'm, I'm feeling great. I'm having good times and uh, I hope I can, I hope, no, I will <laughs> show this for the fans on, on Friday night. Uh, oh, quick question. Uh, one of the big differences between the UFC and uh, pretty much almost any other organization is obviously the UFC years ago took away the sponsors. You were actually part of both eras before the Reebok stuff. Here at Eagle FC, I don't believe there's any uniform per se. Um, were, were you able to lock any sponsors for this fight? Yeah, actually, uh, that wasn't. Uh, I didn't. I didn't do it. We had some conversations with some uh, some uh, brands and things. But uh, it was nothing very, very uh, the way we want it to happen. 
So we said, oh, let's let's do it. You know, we're not rushing for anything. Even for the fights, you know, we were not rushing for the fights. You know, like like I said, my next my next step would be a very important step, and it, it is being a very important step. And everybody who's gonna be with me on this next chapter of my life, it needs to be there for real, not just to be part of and then. Uh, just turn their back on me again and just uh, walk away. You know, I don't want this. I don't need this. Yeah. So uh, I, I want real partners. I want a real uh, relationship with the people around me. As I have with my with my gym, with my coaches, with my partners, this is real. This is, you know, something that adds to your career, to your to your value as a, as a, a fighter. So that's what I'm looking for. And for this fight, you know, I wasn't really... We had some conversations that were, we didn't get where we wanted. So I'm by myself with my team, with my, you know, my own things. And, and you mentioned how this is a, a new chapter of your career. If you can give us sort of that first page before the, the chapter, what is this chapter about? What are you trying to get out of it? What goals do you have? Uh, what is the priority out of this post-UFC chapter in, in your career? Uh, keep showing my truth. You know, it's uh, because, man... Like uh, right after I went out of the UFC, that was my biggest thing. You know, I was wondering, should I keep going? Should I keep doing this thing? You know, it's uh, it's getting kind of weird and something like that. But as soon as I went back to the gym, I said, my gosh, I love this thing. I got to keep going. And I have so much still to do. You know, I have a, a great ability. I have great uh, 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 physically preparation you know for for everything so i want to keep doing this i want to keep showing people my truth what what is really uh, uh, real for me you know because uh, and also kind of the last fights didn't show up I, man i really believe you know all those guys i i, I can beat and i would beat all of those uh, of those guys you know but uh i wasn't in the like I said, I wasn't being appreciated anymore. And if, I'm a very sentimental guy, as you guys can imagine. So I feel everything. I feel everything. That's why I'm happy right now. If I'm happy, as I was in the beginning in the, in the UFC, if I'm happy to be there and I'm being appreciated to be there, I feel, I feel strong. And then I want to give it back. So uh, that's why I'm here, you know, to give it back and show the whole world. It doesn't mean that I'm going to get there and win. It doesn't, it, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that I'm going to be here to show the best of me. And, I, and once I show the best, I put on the hard work and I put in a good work over there, like showing who I, I'm, uh, I really am. So then I'm fine. You know, it doesn't matter win or lose. Of course, I want to win, but... Uh, it's not automatic. You don't get, you don't, I want to win, you're going to win. It's not like this, you know, so uh, that's what I'm here for. Yeah. A couple of follow-ups from, from that. Uh, so you didn't feel appreciated by, like, the company? Is that what I'm gathering? Of course, yeah. I, I was feeling, like, pressured, you know. Uh, like, the way uh, uh, things happen, we're, we're under pressure all the time, you know. And uh, uh, I feel like I was, they were trying to drain everything I could provide for them you know <laughs> and to build on other names and things like that that they could maybe uh, do a, a work or whatever no that's what my feeling it doesn't mean you know they're a huge company I, it's kind of a uh, stupid of me thinking that that they were that they would uh, uh, put that much of focus on uh, attention on top of me but that's how I felt so and if I feel that way you know uh, things doesn't go don't go very right inside of me so that's why and it's interesting recently I don't know if you saw a fellow Brazilian Anderson Silva fellow uh, former UFC champion had a similar comments he said that he felt like the UFC was just trying to sort of uh, use him and then it, towards the end it just kind of kick him on his way out um, and he said he wasn't happy with the treatment towards the end. Uh, do you kind of share the same sentiments? Same thing. Same thing. Yeah, that's, that's the reality. You know, I know it's a business. They are there to, to make money. And they are doing great, actually, you know, doing that. You know, but uh, there's, man, there's nothing really covering or helping the, 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 the fighters, you know. And uh, all the, the guys who are there and they're, you know, champions or things, you know, at the future, they will see what, what I'm talking about, you know. At some point, you don't, you're not there focused anymore. So uh, they try to drain everything. With a, you know, like uh, I can give you a good example. When I was going out, like my last fight, they, I, I suffered a, 
elbow on the back of the head. That that was illegal. The athletic commission said he wasn't. They were they said he wasn't, but that's illegal. Watch it. How many times you wanted to watch? That's illegal. And uh, and they they just pushed me away because they want that that you know it's easier for them to kick me out and give the attention for the other uh, other guy and try to drain uh, you know everything what I, what I had. But even suffering that concussion. They offered me, uh, okay, you have a fight in 20 days with uh, Tibura, I think, or something like that. What? I just suffered a concussion. I cannot fight. Even the athletic commission, they, I think they give me some days to stay home or something like that. I cannot even train. You know, okay, so you're out. What? <laughs> then, you know, what kind of... I was there for 12 years. I was... I, was, I, was, I felt, um, you know, that I was being part of the... The, the building process and everything. Of course, everybody, everybody is. All the fighters are. Uh, but uh, it, you know, it was it wasn't uh, in a good way. Yeah. But like they say, you know, business, is business, and you, know, you have to deal with it. Yeah. Did it any way sort of that exit um, leave you with a sour taste or, or anything like that? Because you did obviously accomplish great things, beautiful knockouts for the fans, champion. Uh, some of the best fights we've seen in the heavyweight division, historic fights with Cain Velasquez. Um, did did it, that ending sort of leave a sour taste on that chapter of your career, or do you put that to a side? No way, no way. Actually, I'm I'm thankful to, for being part, to to use that platform to show myself to the world. You know, it's I'm, I'm very thankful to be part of it. You know, and uh, all the all the, all the, the hard work they did over there, and they still doing. You know, it, it man, our sport is in the level it is because they they worked very hard to 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 bring it up like that. You know, so uh, I feel I feel uh, thankful for being part of the the company. And things happen in a different way in a not very nice way at the end but uh well we have to deal with it yeah. <laughs> a couple more and i promise uh, i'll be That's quick in these um it, it also sounds that you feel like you you mentioned here uh, talking to me that you want to show your truth it feels like you didn't that you have a lot more to give and perhaps that the fans from your previous fights don't have the right perception of where you at today as a fighter. Is that the case? Do you feel like because of, you know, some illegal shots, uh, some match trips that you got, because you got, again, the toughest guys in the division towards the end. I mean, Cyril Gahn, Francis Ngannou, you go down the line. Do you feel like perhaps the MMA community doesn't have a good gauge, a good picture of where Junior Dos Santos is today uh, as a fighter? Of course, yeah, I feel like that too. That one, that one, that's for sure one of the reasons that I want to show this truth I'm talking about. Because people, they are kind of underestimating me again, you know, these days. And say, ah, Junior is done, Junior is this, Junior is that, you know. I don't really care about them, you know, uh, the, haters, yeah. the haters and things like that. But I, I care people around me and people that, and the fans that have been always supporting me. They're still there. So I want to give it back to them and I want to show them hey, you're not wrong you know I'm still here <laughs> I still can do you know great things inside the octagon inside the ring because you know you never know but uh yeah that's that's the the goal you know to be there and um, and just show myself to the world you know how feel how how good I feel and uh, you know what a good performance I can have in there yeah. well I appreciate the time junior best of luck this Friday at Ego FC 47 against Jordan